guys and girls, what's up? It's Dayzo, and welcome back to another video. If you're looking to start streaming or you just want to do some recording for YouTube and such, it can be really difficult with software such as OBS as they are aimed at higher-end PCs. So today I'm going to be showing you the best screen recorder for low-end PCs. I will say though, if you are on a high-end PC, still use this software as you can easily improve your recordings by not dropping any frames in your game or recording. Be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to help this channel grow because all hope is appreciated and follow me on Twitter as well because I do tweet out there a lot. And comment down below if you have any issues with the software I'm about to show you. And also say down below how I can improve as a creator so I can become a better YouTuber and make better videos for you guys. But now, let's get on with the video. I have tried out many different softwares for screen recording and most of the time, I noticed a lot of drop frames which can disrupt your audience watching your stream or video. So I tried to find a software that uses a lot less of my CPU. And I found a free screen recording software called Streamlabs OBS. I will leave a link in the description to download this software for free so you can go and download it from there. Once you have downloaded that software, go into the application and you should check for some updates. Once you are officially inside Streamlabs OBS, you can see it looks a lot like normal OBS. To be able to start recording or streaming, you first have to go into where it says scene and source. To be able to do that, all you have to do is go into scene and hit the symbol that looks like a plus. Once you have done that, all you have to do is name it what you want it to be called. Once you have named the scene, all you want to do is go to where it says sources. In sources, I suggest making it display capture for YouTube recordings and game capture for live streams and Twitch and Mixer and more. If you look down in the bottom left hand corner, you will notice where it says the FPS and the amount of drop frames and the CPU usage. By default, it should say 30 FPS, but to change it to 60, all you have to do is go into settings in the top right corner and then click the video tab. In the video tab, you should see where it says common FPS values. I suggest changing that to 60 to make your video feel more clean, but if you are noticing a lot of drop frames, set it back to 30. The reason I think this is so much better than normal OBS is because normal OBS uses your CPU far more than Streamlabs OBS, so when you are playing your games, you won't experience any frame drops. You can see this by looking in the bottom left hand corner of Streamlabs OBS, and it should be a much lower number, as I used to see on OBS the number going up to 80. Another great thing about Streamlabs OBS is where it says the drop frames, so if you are streaming, you can just fix up those lost frames. That's gonna wrap up the video. I really hope you did enjoy it and it helped you out. Be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to help this channel grow because all hope is appreciated. And follow me on Twitter as well because I do tweet out there a lot. And comment down below if you have any issues with the software so I can help you out. And also say down below how I can improve as a creator so I can become a ready YouTuber and make better videos for you guys. But now, I'll see you in the next one.